turning now to Japan, where officials have come up with an estimated cost of the quake and tsunami. The price tag? More than $300 billion. Authorities are working on a supplemental budget to inject money immediately into the hardest hit areas. The ocean waters near the damaged nuclear plant are recording the highest levels of radiation yet, more than 4,000 times above normal limits. Authorities don't know where the radioactive water is coming from. And the company that owns the plant has decommissioned four of its six reactors. The company, the company also announced plans to spray a water and synthetic resin mix around the plant to stop the spread of radioactive materials. The EPA is now stepping up its radiation monitoring here in the United States. The move comes after very low levels of radiation were found in milk in two states, California and Washington. CNN senior medical correspondent Elizabeth Cohen is here, and I know you're going to say trace amounts, small amounts, but this is disturbing. It is disturbing. I mean, I think even if you know that these are teeny tiny amounts, you're going to feel like, yikes, this is milk. I drink this with my cereal. My kids drink it. What do I do? The answer here is that public health officials say it is fine. And that the reason for that is that it's the levels of radioactive iodine in the milk in the United States are 5,000 times lower than safety limits set by the Food and Drug Administration. So when you hear that number, I hope that makes people feel a little better. I hope so. Why, why do we concentrate so much on milk? You know why? Because milk, because radioactivity gets into milk. And if you take a look at this, you'll see we have an illustration of how that happens. Radioactive, radioactive material lands on grass. So it's, it went across the ocean, across the country, um, lands on grass. Cows eat that grass. And so it gets into the milk. Now, this is that, so that's the bad news. The good news is, is that it gets out of the milk very quickly. So it's in there for a very short period of time. We don't expect to see radioactivity landing in this country, you know, forever. Obviously, this is just for this episode, and so it won't be in the milk forever. So we know that um, tiny bits of, of radioactivity were found in the air as far away as Massachusetts from Japan. Could this affect milk in other parts of the country too? Right. Right now they've only found radioactivity on the west coast, but theoretically, yes, absolutely, you could find it as far as the east coast because you have radioactivity being found as far as the east coast. But again, those numbers would be teeny tiny. Elizabeth Cohen, thanks as always. Thanks. There are